I adulted Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a night light on for you. That night light is out of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. Paul enjoining the Corinthian believers to grow up an adult a little bit. It says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are ye able, for ye are yet carnal. For as there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are ye not carnal and walk as men? I came across a wonderful devotion by Dr. Paul Chappell, and he said this, Every year new words are added to the English language to help Help explain the changes in our society. One of the relatively recent words is adulting. It's used by young people to identify ways in which they're acting grown up and responsible. Uh, so you can even buy an iAdulted wall calendar, each of which comes with stickers that uh, you can uh, place on you on the day where like I paid a bill on time, I cooked a meal, I matched my socks, I, I took only one selfie, I put away my phone. The idea of celebrating such things as milestones. <laughs> most uh, most baby boomers see, see that as a little bit immature. Uh, that That's uh, w- the way we were taught to do growing up. That's what we were supposed to do every day, even without getting a sticker for it. I know he's kind of saying that tongue-in-cheek, but it's a little bit funny. We think about adulting and and we think about being responsible. It's not always easy in our day-to-day lives, but more so, it's important to think about spiritual adulting or growing up spiritually. Paul was saying to these Corinthian believers that they were spiritually immature. They, They should have been grown beyond the pettiness that was there. But he said, you're envying, you're bitter, you're backbiting, you're doing this stuff that just is childish. And uh, he's saying, don't do that. Grow up. And uh, maybe God's word to us is to, to for us to think about, am I further along in my walk with God today than I was one year ago? Am I further along in my walk with God today than I was five years ago? And, and if the answer to that is no, then maybe we need to do a little bit of spiritual adulting. Maybe we need to work on growing. Uh, One of the ways that you can do that is to think diagnostically. So as you're about ready to do something or say something, ask yourself, what would Jesus do if he were in this situation? Well, maybe you can't picture that. So think about what would a, a grown, mature Christian that you know, what would they do if they were in that situation? That may give you some insight, the, they're, though they're only an imperfect pattern. Or you might, if, if you can't even think of somebody, think about what would a mature Christian do if they were in this situation? And as you get those kind of answers from those kind of questions, you'll begin to find that your knee-jerk response to most situations is not a good one and that you need to think through things a little bit more because that's really what immaturity is. Immaturity is doing that very first thing that comes to your mind or that's in your fleshly nature when God wants us to be spirit-led, scripture-led, uh, Christ's example led, mature believer led, instead of self led and selfish. So I, I want you to think about your walk with God and, and start thinking about how would a mature Christian spend his time right now? How would a mature Christian uh, uh, study the Bible? How would a mature Christian pray? How would a mature Christian react to this person in this situation? And as you begin to ask those questions, you're going to get a lot different answers and better answers than what you've been doing. And you'll find that you're reaping and sowing much better things and the harvest in your life is much better as well. Thank you for your attentiveness. Let's adult today. Mighty Father God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for this night. Let us rest well. Help us to draw close to you and to your kingdom. You've been so unspeakably good to us. Just keep us safe and in the very center of your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.